loud, you guys. Okay. I think it's going. Okay, cool. All right. Yay, Monday night. We have Maggie here and Liz. The rest of you beauties are out there on Zoom land. Okay, so we're going to start off with um, just a little flow to get ourselves warmed up. And then we're going to move into a 15 minute, you know, steady um, resistance resistance section. Okay, so you basically, you're just going to keep moving and you need to break, take break. Okay, you can do it arms and legs. But right now, let's just get, get to the top of the mat and get ready to flow a little bit just to warm up. All right, we'll do balls, the edge. All right, top of the mat, feet about hip distance wide. Take the arms up high over the head, take a big breath in. And then bring the palms together and then just bring the hands right down the front, center, and exhale. And let's go again, inhale, bring the arms up high. And then exhale, arms come down center. So we're just centering the body, getting grounded into the earth. Twice more, inhale. And exhale. One more time. Breathe in, raise the arms. And breathe out, lower the arms down. Go ahead and bend your knees, come to forward fold. Right around, wait, you can start to move a little bit since we're going to get right into it. So get moving into it, just slide the body uh, side to side. Fingertips can stay on the floor or on the shins. Shift the weight side to side. Good. Really feel the earth, feel your feet. Feel the legs coming alive. And your next inhale, halfway lift, inhale. And then forward fold, exhale. Do that once more, rise halfway, inhale, and forward fold, exhale. Good. Step back into high plank. Then just take the heels over to the right, to the left. And you can bend your knees a little bit. You don't have to keep everything so, um, so uh, like engaged in the legs. You can just soften your knees, just kind of sway your hips side to side, warm up the waist. Two, rolling through your toes, warming up your feet. And one, come back to center. And then right into downward dog. So just lift your hips up and deep stretch here. Bend your knees. Pedal out your feet. One heel down on the other. Relax your neck. Open and close your mouth. Release the tension in your jaw. And keep your breath moving. Let's do some wrist rolls, move your fingers around, and then do some ankle rolls. Good. And then wide your feet at the back of your mat and walk your hands back to your feet. Bend your knees just a little bit. So don't go into squat. You're just bending your knees a little bit. And then walk right back out into your plank. Just slide yourself right back out again, right into plank. Nice strong core. And then lift your hips back up to dog. And keep walk your hands back to your feet. And again, just a little bend in the knees. And then walk and slide back out to plank. Keep your breath moving. One more time. Walk your hands back. And now you can lift your heels a little bit and just lower your booty down a little bit, kind of in a little squat. Feel those toe joints opening up. Feel the toes down. Two. And one. Good. All right, walk on out to the plank. Lower both your knees down. Just do a little push-ups here to fit finger space. And just about halfway down. And if you're working on your breath here, you can keep your mouth closed and breathe in and out your nose. Don't be afraid to take big breaths in. Breathe out of your mouth if you want it clear. Two. And one. Lower all the way down and then take a big fierce cobra. Walk your fingers out 
your arms will kind of relax as you lift. Take a breath in and a breath out. One more time, inhale and exhale. Good. Right, slide your hands back to Cobra and push yourself up into your plank. And then downward facing dog, lift your hips, relax your head. Good. Drop one heel down and hold. Two and one. And then drop the other heel down and hold. Two and one. Then center here, walk your feet to the top of the mat. Rise to standing. Inhale, sweep the arms up, feel the press of the palms, and then bring your hands right down in front of you. We're going to go one more time, bend down. Exhale, halfway lift, inhale, then long through that spine. Exhale, fold back to high plank. Sway the heels side to side. Into your waist, nice and strong. Two and one, and then back to center. Hold here, knees to the earth. Press back into wisdom pose and stretch through the armpits, releasing. Breathe in, and breathe out, and then slither forward onto your belly. Cobra pose, inhale, exhale, lower down. Push up, strong high plank, take a breath in and then, and then press away as you exhale into your high plank. Good, downward facing dog. Breath in and breath out. Walk your feet to the middle of the mat and rise to standing. Take your time, come on up, just ragdoll your way all the way up. Sweep the arms up over the head and bring your prayer hands right to your heart. Good. Okay, let's start with our band first. I just want to make sure everybody's in. Let me make sure Amber's in. Yeah, okay, good. I wasn't sure if I saw her. Okay, cool. All right, so let's take our band, our red band. We're going to start. We're going to do continuous workout here for about 15 minutes. But again, like I said, you just stop and, and just take a break if you need to. All right? All right, so bring your hands, wrap the bands around your hands. All right, and we're gonna start to do these lateral moves here. So I'm gonna be chattering away, giving you guys guidance, but you guys breathe. Three, two, and one. And then just start to bring your arms in front and just keep that lateral movement going. Okay, when you get to the top, start to do slow full post arms. Press up and down. Now you can walk around on transition here. You can kind of move your feet around. You don't have to stay still. You can move around on your own mat. Breathe in. Three, two, and one. And take the arms up high, just kind of press out here. Straight arms, nice and strong. You don't have to make a big move here. It can be a little teeny, itty bitty move where you can get a little wider if you want. Three, two, and one. Good, right now hold the arms up, just kind of relax the tension a little bit. And let's just start to bring me up to the band. A little standing forward. And I'm just continuing to breathe in through my nose and out. Working on my lungs, metabolism. Three, two, one. Good. Hold here in the center. Let's yes, get sideways, wide your feet out. Okay, so you guys are sideways in your mat here. All right. And then just, just take this, just to take the hand out of the band, right? And just kind of side bend over to one side, doesn't matter what side. And then the other side. So we're working on waist here. Breathing in and breathe out. So do a feel some natural here. Top arm can bend here a little bit. You're getting a little bit flowy here, but you're keeping that waist active. Legs are stable and still, really rooted. Slight bend in your knees. Two. 
Good. And one, back to center. Bend your knees and come down. Now the, the hands are out front, right? We're gonna go over to one side. Do that around the world. Take your arms back behind and then go back around. So we're gonna stay in that one direction. You got it. That's it. Get low into the hips. Right here, actually coming into a squat, coming across the horizon. That's it. Feel the body moving. All right, and then when you can, switch directions. Just keep breathing, y'all. That's it, nice. Get low, get low, get low. Two. And one. Nice. All right, well, I'll meet back in the center. Take the arms above your head. Right, you can start, you can turn back and face forward. Right, roll your hands around again. Let's move right into triceps. Press it and just try chopping that sky. Bottom arm's gonna pull down. Doesn't matter which side, it's all good. We're gonna do both sides. Karate chop the sky. Good, so keep your arm, your lower arm straight and just chop, chop. Get into your triceps, yeah, there you go. Nice, three, two, and one. We're gonna stay on this side, we're just gonna go out to the side, we're gonna press out and press. If your shoulders are starting to get like a little crampy, tell yourself to unshrug. Press your, let your shoulders relax. Two, and one, last one here. Take it up high, push, and then out to the side. Just gonna do that twice before push up, and then to the side one more time. Push, and then to the side. Good. All right. Take the arm, take the bands behind your back a couple of times. Rinse out that shoulder. Relax. Put some tension on that right, whatever side you're working. Just rinse it out. Three, two, and one. And go back on the other side. Now roll your other hand, pull down with the opposite, and so bring it right back into karate, chopping that side. Now, here, if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can get on one leg, just challenge the balance a little bit. And you add movement, you add challenge. Just a little harder on the body. Good. Mindfully chop up, get that side of your hand heading to your target. Three. Two, and one, let's go back to the side, press. Right, so that pull hand is right at your chest level. And then you're just gonna extend out to the side and act like you're pushing something away from you on the side. So you have to press through that palm, push. That's it, push. Let's go. Three, two, one, and go back up top and push, and out to the side, push. Good. Breathe. Three, two, and one. Nice. Good. And relax. Roll it out. Roll it out. Get sideways on your mats again. Y'all get sideways. Take all the slack out of your bands. Shake it out. Shake it out. And let's just take it easy around the around the around the world over. So you're not really getting your squat, and there's no tension in your bands. Just flowing your arms. Waist opened up a little bit, learning how to establish our base and move our torso up top. And then go in the other direction. That's right. Your shoulders are nice and relaxed. Just let them flow. Good. Three, two, and one. Okay, roll it out. Shoulder shrugs to the ears and down the back. And then take it the other direction, go forward and around. Three, two, and one. Good. All right, let's, just, let's step on the band with one foot and hold on. Choke down as much as you need to. Right, then come into warrior one and start to row here. So choke down all the way. You want that band is your arch. You're going to pull back and pull back. Good. Breathe in, breathe out. 
Right, so what are we doing? We're squeezing our shoulder blades together. Squeeze. All right, so let's squeeze and hold here. And then just kind of pulse the elbows together. Like you're back in your waist. Soften your shoulders away from your ears. Chest is proud. Three, two, and one. Good. Squeeze the elbows together and hold. Two, and one. Good. Just kind of warrior frame. Work on balance a little bit. Just relax your, relax your bands. Relax your hands. Come into warrior frame. Three, two, and one. Good. Bring that, bring your feet together, and then step on the other band right at the arch. This is really good for the arch, actually. This nice. gives a little massage. Choke down. This time, cross your bands. Right. So just cross and take the take the the bands at the end, or you're ready to delt raises. Right. Now listen. If it's too much, if this is too much. You can always drop down to your knee. It just takes a little bit of pressure off the bands. The idea here is your arms are straight, and the slight bend of your elbows. You're lifting from here, right, from the top of your shoulders. Okay, just find that. Three, two, one. And just lift about halfway. I want to challenge you guys to look at your wrists, right? Make sure they're kind of trying to keep them straight. Lift them a little higher. So bring your whole arm up. So bring your elbows up. In, and then bring them up. Bring them in, and bring them up. And draw the shoulders down, and bring them up. And then just lift up. Three, two, and one. Good. Out to warrior three. Lighten up in your bands. Don't worry about it. The delts are hard, hard to get to, especially if you have some gals working on that. Three, Two and one. Good. All right, drop your bands, step up, step up. Go ahead and grab your weights. Go right into a bicep curl, one leg. It's a classic bicep curl. You keep your elbows still right inside waist. The chest is proud. Can you have your weights? Yeah, this is sure. Yeah, this is okay. my first time off. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah, high reps, low weight. It's all good. All right. Good. Switch leg if you're on one. Breathe in, breathe out. This is proud. Good. All right. Face your hand. Go right into hammers. Opposite. Opposite. Try to go right up to your shoulder tops. Bending your arms up and then pressing down. It's almost like you're pulling up and pressing down. Three, two, one. Pause here in the front. Roll out your shoulders a couple times. Shoulder rolls. Three, two, and one. You go the other direction. Three, two, and one. Good. Okay, let's hit the, let's let's finish up with a, a leg. All right. If you want to use one weight or two, if you're using your light weight, you can keep both weights in your hands, or you can we're gonna do a shoulder press, okay? Just so you can decide on what weight you want. Okay, so we're here, we're gonna be stepping back, one foot back, all right, and do your shoulder press up, and then you're gonna come up and bring a knee up forward, and then shoulder press back, and bring a knee, stay on the same leg. Stay on the same leg, and you can drop a weight. You can just do one weight and put it at your center chest like this. If it's too much for the two, okay? Three, two, keep breathing, y'all. One, let's stay in the center of the tip of the front of that and hold. And do the other side, right? Step back and press, and then knee up. Good. Breathe in, breathe out. You get that breath of fire going, breathing out. Don't be afraid to use your breath, right? It's a tool you can use. 
tap into that metabolism. You want to breathe. Three, two, last one. Good. Okay, pause here. Set your weights off to the side. Okay, we're going down to the mat. Final five minutes, core. All right. We're stepping into, let's go into a downward facing dog. Slide your hips side to side a little bit. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe out. Good. All right, come into not quite a full plank. Just drop your hips about halfway and just start to do little mountain climbers here. And when I say little mountain climbers, I don't mean like um, roll yourself back. It just mean bring your knee like halfway in. You're keeping that core engaged. Just run with it a little bit here. Everybody's breathing, yeah? Into the nose and you start blowing out of the mouth. Three, two, and one. Good. Pause the downward facing dog. Relax your head, your neck. Three, two, one. All right, roll back out to plank here. Knee taps, pull it down. Three, two, one. Now just bring your bring your arm leg straight. Bring your left knee down and hold. And then take your left and take your left hand down to your right shoulder. And hold. And then switch. Left hand down, right knee down. And then bring your hand up. And then switch. And then switch. Switch, switch. Switch, switch. Walking those knees, two. And last one. Good. Now we're going. Walk the feet to center. And then come on down, seated. Roll down. Roll the way down. Spot, roll your spine down, one vertebrae at a time. And then bring your both legs up. Melt your ankles, crack your toes. Good. All right. Lift your head up, shoulders up, hands behind your head. All right. Now, the option here is you can always slide your hands under your low back and put your head down. Okay. That's those are your two options. Pulling your head forward. Left leg's going to come down. We're into our scissor kicks. So stay here, hold here, inhale, exhale, and you're gonna switch. Inhale and switch. Exhale, blow it out. Inhale, exhale. Twice more in, out. One more in, out. Good, knees to chest. Give yourself a big hug, put your head down. Pull those knees in, you can let your knees go wide a little bit. Two and one. Good. Knees to center. Our right, we're going to do our hip circles. Y'all, so arms are down, supporting. Pull your knees in towards your head, then go out and around. Bring it together. Back in. Repeat this. Two and one. And then reverse direction. Pull them in, down, and around, and out. Really engage. You're pulling your core to the floor. Two and one. Knees to chest, give yourself a big hug. Roll across your low back. Two, one. Legs up. 30, 30, 30. Hands gonna be under the low back here. Right? Head off the floor, look at your belly. Big breath in. Exhale, take your right leg down and hold. Breathe in. Exhale, down and hold. Breathe in. One more. Exhale. Pull. Three, two, and one. Bring that right leg up. Good. Other side. Inhale. Exhale. Pull. Inhale. Exhale. Pull. Inhale. Exhale. Pull. Three, two, one. And bring both legs back up again. Both legs. Inhale. Exhale. Down and pull. Exhale and pull. 
Exhale and hold. Three, two, and one. And bring the leg up and down. We need to relax. In and breathe out. Head up again one more time. Inhale. Exhale, both and hold. Inhale. Exhale, both and hold. Inhale. Exhale, both and hold. Three, two, one. Oh, up with the legs, down with the heavy backs. Pull your knees in. Rock across that low back. Slide your hands under your legs and give yourself a big hug. Pull the, the thighs towards you. Let those upper legs just be kind of floppy. Keep them out a little bit. Good. Bring your hands to your in, inside arches and rock across open into happy baby. Okay. Three, two, and one. Nice. All right, cross the, bring your both legs up over the top and bring your right leg towards you, left leg away, cross the thighs, bend your knees. And come into eagle legs. Take a hold of your of your shin bones, and then pull the legs towards you, and bring yourself into a big um, cat pose here. So you're rounding your spine, and you're pulling your legs towards you. Take a breath in and a breath out. Good. Two. Nice. Pulling your legs, nice steady hold. You're stretching. Three, two, and one. Then release your legs, shake them out, shake them out. You're having a little tantrum. <laughs> I'm sick of 2020. <laughs> okay. And then bring your left leg towards you and bring your right leg away. Cross the thighs. Then I want you guys all back in here. And then bring your hands to your shin bones and pull. Rounds and coil up to the legs. Pull in. Pull in. Breathe out. Pull in the legs. Rounding towards the legs. Two. And one. And release the legs. Shake them out. Two. And one. Knees to the chest. One more time. Take a twist. Knees to the left. And knees to the right. Big stretch out through the upper body. Breath comes in, breath goes out. Reach your body, let your body just take the shape. And then, and breath out. You have so much opportunity with your breath. Like you can literally just lay there and work with your breath. So just work on expanding and toning the core, waking things up. One more breath. Big breath into the nose and ha ah, on the way out. Good. Bring your knees back through center. Take the other side. Those knees come down. Expand through the arms, looking to the left. Straightening out your top leg if you like, even your bottom leg. Just, just feel this. Let your body find its way through this shape. Expand. Stretch your fingers out. Roll your wrist. Put your toes around. Really working to get energy through the extremities. Deep breath in, breath out. Two more breaths. Let's do some cleansing breath. In through the nose, and then ha ah, out through the mouth. Exhale one more time. Breathe in. Deep breath out. Good. And then back to center. Rock and roll ourselves up into both toes and so hands behind your knees. Rock and roll a couple times. Pat your toes. Roll through your spine. A couple more times. And then just like freeze in your bow toes. On your next time, breathe into that bow pose. Pull yourself up. Your toes can be here or they can be here. If you want, you can take full expression. Hold on to those big toes. Otherwise, see wherever you are, work, breathe. Three, two. You're in this full expression, like act like you're stepping. Oops. <laughs> I lost my four. Act like you're stepping on the gas. 
right? So you're like pushing through your feet, your toes. There, got it. <laughs> Three. Good, 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 good. And one. Ah. Everybody flop down for a second, take a couple of breaths, and we're gonna move into ball. Just a minute, let's feel. In, out. Just scan the body and notice. Roll your head out a little bit, roll, look, look to the right and look to the left. Good. Go ahead and work, work your way up seated. Okay, we're going to start with our, we're going to go right into glutes. If you want to grab, take a little water if you need it. I need a little sit myself. So your ball choices tonight is R. Silver, if you do have, do you have a silver? If you, want, if you want to grab one. Silver for, you know, it's a really nice choice for legs. Pearl will get you into, will really get into detail in, in the legs. And then if you're having any issues, you'll want to use um, gold, okay? So me, for instance, I'm having a left hamstring situation. So when we get over to the left side, I'm probably going to end up using my curl just because I don't want to inflame it anymore, okay? I'm going to start with curl because I want to get into the, get, some, get into some detail. So we're going to start up on our right sit bone. I'm going to get sideways so y'all can see. You want to have all your gear right next to you so you can pull it in as you need it, okay? So come up on, onto the right sit bone. Just take a couple of breaths. You can actually close your eyes a minute and just kind of get connected. So we're moving from movement to more stillness. I want to do all the different types of rolling tonight. So we'll start off here just with just still breaths of sitting on it and it's sitting on the ball and connecting your sit bone right into the ball and just let your body weight go. Notice if you shut your eyes, open your eyes and then shut your eyes and notice if you drop in a little bit more, a little bit deeper, connect more, let go a little bit more. Let's take a breath or two here and connect. Really just get that bone to come through and get right onto your bone stimulation. Connection. Right, so here, let's take a breath in. Remember you're aiming your breath to the ball and then with each exhale you're relaxing and connecting. And let's just go ahead here now, bend your right knee and just take your body over to the left a little bit and the ball's going to go sliding yourself away from the ball. And if you look down, you can see the ball's kind of creeping out on the right side of your hip. And just pause there. Just Now you're getting on the side of your leg bone. So there's the visual. You're trying to maybe feel the leg bone. If you don't feel it, it's okay. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, you just let go. Right onto the side of that leg bone. Take another breath in and breath out. Meanwhile, y'all are relaxing your feet. Move your feet around a little bit. And let's come back to the sit bone and sit up tall. And then now move, the, now move yourself to the right and let the ball creep in, in towards the base of the pelvic floor. So you're coming inside, right in, in between your legs where the groin. A lot going on here at the pelvic floor. So this is what we call the. It's really 
mean, there's a lot of names for it, but like the essential core, when you think about it, like all of your movement coming comes from your hips, a lot of your, your lower body movement. Think about all, this, all of the involvement here at the base of the pelvic floor. So we'll get the ball right in there, take a breath in and exhale. right back to your sit bone. Wherever we started, home base, okay? Take your breath in here. Get connected, sit really heavy in there. And now we're gonna go and get on the side of the hips. We're gonna do the same thing we just did. Slide your body to the left and see the ball coming to the right, right? On the outside of that right leg. And then you're gonna twist, twist towards the right side. So twisting towards your right side twisting into the right side, that right leg is extended out, and then that top leg now, just release it back. And you're gonna come down into your elbows if you can, or just one, and get really on the side of your leg bone. So rotate your, your leg bone, external rotation with your leg bone, and feel that ball right on the side of your leg, so at the top of your IT band. And then just take a breath here, lean down as much as you'd like, flex your right foot if you can, Lean in on your exhale, and when you inhale, you're kind of lifting up a little bit. And exhale, just feel here now. Okay, at the top of the leg bone, you should feel a nice release here, or it can be pretty dicey. Depending. Take another breath in, and breath out. So deepening your twist, if you can, bringing your left elbow down without overdoing. Take another breath in, and the breath out. And here are the subtleties now, y'all. So you can move yourself, you can move your body back and feel the ball roll into more of the front of the thigh. And then as you move your body towards your head, you can feel the ball kind of roll more to the back of the thigh, right? Yeah, you got it, baby. And then push your body back and forward, right? And now you're cross fibering across that side, side leg. It should still be on the um, the knuckle bone right there at the top of your leg bone. And just kind of going across that little side of your hip. Good. All right, so let's pause right there on the top of the leg bone. Feel that. Take a breath in and breath out. Just relax. And then push yourself back up, seated, and you're going to come right back to the top of the ball, right at your sit bone. Okay. Bend your right knee and pull yourself into your glute and stay right, right near your, your, your uh, tailbone as you pull yourself down towards the floor and then push yourself back. So you're staying right on that right side. Yep, you're still on the right, your right um, butt cheek. Okay. There you go. And you can sneak right into your. Um, your hamstrings a little bit, so get down to the back of the leg a little bit more. So we're going a little bit farther down now with this. And do it with the booty lifter. So lifting up and pushing back. You're still on the right side. And just using your bones as a guide. The next time you get up into the glute, up into your booty, just pause right there and try and find the center. And just do little circles at the right butt cheek, right in there. You're trying to get right inside that hip back hip pocket. If you're kind of leaning to the right a little bit, getting into that butt cheek. Good. And then once you find the center, just pause there and hold. Walk your hands back as much as you need to to kind of get that feeling like you're really just kind of settling in. It's like you put the ball in your back pocket. Bring your soles of your feet together and let and release that bottom leg down. So it might feel really restricted through here if it's tight. Just relax and let it just start to open here. Take a breath in and a breath out. And again, if you really want to just focus, you can shut your eyes and just feel and see if you can feel yourself release a little bit. Take another breath in and another breath out. Good. And we're going to just do clamshell. So bring your bottom leg and just bring it up to the top of your 
your top leg and go ahead and squeeze your glute muscle. Just try to just isolate your right side. So squeeze your glute muscle on that right side. Hold three, two, one, and now release. Sink and let your leg come back down again. And relax everything. You can even bounce that bottom leg a little bit. Let's do it again. Inhale, take that bottom leg, the top leg. Press your knees together and squeeze. Almost like you're doing your inside of your leg. Now squeeze your right butt cheek. Squeeze and hold. Three, two, and one. And then release, release, sink. And let that leg drop down. Let's do it one more time. Bring your bottom leg up. Inhaling. Squeeze and hold. Three, two, one. And then relax the leg, let it drop down. And slide back to your sit bone. And just bend forward. You can release your left leg off to the side a little bit and come into a little stretch here. Just notice now what's happening in your back because the glute really does affect the, the back. Your glutes are tight, your back may be tight too. So you see, and just stay present. Don't over, don't over stretch, don't over forward fold, right? Take another breath in and breath out. Just melt forward. Two. Good, and one, and then just bring the torso up really slow, sit tall, and release your left leg around. All right, so now I'm gonna go from just bring the ball to center, right in the center of your the pelvic floor, right at the base. So it's right behind your pubic bone, in front of your tailbone. And you're just gonna sit tall, relax. Take a breath in, and breath out. And as you breathe out, just let your body weight sink. Bend your knees a little bit, pull yourself forward. When I say pull, I mean, you're not trying to like literally pull yourself off the ball. You're just trying to nail your heels down, bring your torso forward and just imagine nailing the heels down, nailing those hips down, and then the just bringing your torso forward is gonna give yourself a nice stretch up out of the waist. Take a breath in, feel yourself kind of pull up out of the waist and then as you exhale, you sink down in it. You're creating that opposite traction here. Root down, so inhale, root down. Kind of squeeze your hip flexors together. Right here are your hip flexors, right? And you want to imagine, you know, like contracting your hip flexors here. So like pulling your legs and your torso together and like holding it. And then inhale, step out of it. And then exhale, bend forward in, in it. Two and one, and then come back. Great, and then just have a seat. Have a seat, let yourself sink. Shift your hips over to the left, and the ball's just gonna go right into the right side. Just get a little stretch press. So we were just on the right side with the ball. So we're just kind of back over there. Don't watch me because you get messed up. <laughs> Remember, I'm opposite. <laughs> Land a TV and then come back to center. Don't ask me to try to switch it because it'll be a whole hot mess. Like the jazzercise people can do that like you like no other. They're just unreal. They're like, right hand, and they're moving, and it's like, no. All right, now, now you're gonna move your body to the right and bring the ball to the left. Right from left back of leg. Yeah. And that should feel different because we haven't been over there yet, so you might feel it like a little tight. Take a breath in and a breath out. breath in and a breath out. So we're just moving into the hips tonight, getting the whole hip girdle. All right, and then you're already here on the left side, so get on that, make sure you get onto your sit bone now, pull yourself up to your sit bone, right, face. And it's okay if you don't feel it and if you're not really sure where you are, you're like, I don't even know if I'm on my sit bone. Just the way to tell is if you're sitting up tall, and you're, trying, you're looking for alignment kind of from your, your crown down through the pelvic floor, and then the ball's on this side or on the left side. The ball's kind of off, off of the pelvic floor, right behind the base of, the, of your booty. All right, take another breath in and a breath out. So this just gets easier with practice. You get more familiar, all right? So now we're gonna move our body to the right, 
and the bottom. You're going to see the ball come to the left side of your hip. And you're going to look down, you're going to see it. And now with the left side of your hip, on that left side, take a breath in and a breath out. You might feel some pretty intense stretching here. So just, you know, do what you can. Don't overdo. Take a breath in and a breath out. We've already been into the pelvic floor on the inside, so we don't have to go back there. Now we're going to go right into that extended stretch. So we're going to rotate the left leg and twist to the left side. And then that top leg is just going to release back behind. And here's your side view. You're just twisting to the left, and you're coming down as close to the floor as you can as your body allows, okay? So you don't overdo. And just get the ball right at the side of your leg, at the top of the leg, and twist into it. It's almost like you're doing side pro. Bring your elbows down when you can. And your proper alignment is your elbows are framing if you look down and through. So, Maggie, you want to move your upper body more to the right, walk yourself more to the like you towards your, 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 um, your water bottle. Right? So, look, look through your elbows, and you should see your, your ball framed in your elbows. Yeah, okay. And then that top leg you can just use to just kind of push yourself forward, right, towards your head, and let the ball go behind towards the booty, and you shift back, and the ball's going to go forward towards your top of your thigh. And it's really interesting because when you have your body in a weird shape, you don't even know where you are. <laughs> You're like, where is the top of my thigh? I don't even know. <laughs> Really get good at knowing where you are in space during this tip. So just push yourself forward towards your head and back towards your feet, and you're just moving. Back. That top leg's kind of doing is the lever, right? And what we're doing here is we're just moving, we're um, stretching the fibers and we're also stimulating bone, and we're just really affecting our whole connective tissue system. Relaxing the legs, stretching the legs, take a breath in, breath out, melt into the ball. Two. Just relax. Relax your um leg, your bottom leg. If you had it kind of contracting your, your thigh, relax, let yourself sink. Relax your entire body, just kind of lay on the ball. Last breath here. And the thing is, if you find a tender spot and when you go back in to do your own work by yourself, you just stay there and let things kind of open. Begin to walk yourself up out of this. Back to the top of the ball seated. And we're right back to where we started, right at the sit bone. Sitting up tall. Breathe in and breathe out. And then we're going to come into our booty lifter. So we'll just begin to move. Side of the seat. Begin to move forward towards the feet, bend your knee, now heel down, and pull yourself right up through that glute to the low back, and then back to your sit bone. Stay right alongside your tailbone as close as you can. Sliding into the hamstrings, back in the leg a little bit, so up to the low back, through the glute, and then from the back of the leg. Feel a nice stretch down through the back. Do one more pass through here. All meet in the glute on the left side. So you're to the on your left, and you get right there on the, and you're going to try to find the center of your glute. Do little circles. That was booty lifter, and then this is working into clamshell. It's really important to keep all this, all these little muscles and big muscles. The glute is a big muscle, biggest muscle. Getting, getting it activated. Everything working the way it's supposed to work. And then find the center of your glute. It might take a couple of side to sides here to feel where you are. And then bring the soles of your feet together and relax. Bring your hands behind and just let yourself check in for a second. Move around, make sure you feel centered and like you're really in, your ball's really seated. Let go of that bottom leg. Relax. 
Contract your left glute and hold it for just a second. Three, two, one, and then relax it again. Let yourself sink in. Might help to get close your eyes because you can really get connected. Remember, we're trying to get down to bone. All right, so bottom legs can come up to the top legs. So inhale, bring those legs together. Squeeze the legs together, and then contract your left glute. Hold it three, two, and one, and then release your bottom leg and flop down. Balance a couple times, relax, reset the ball if you need to, and then go again. Inhale, bottom leg comes up. Squeeze your legs together, contract your left glute. Three, two, and one, and then relax, and then relax. One more time. Inhale, bring that bottom leg up. Squeeze your knees together. Really feel the inner thighs. Squeeze your left glute. Three, two, one, and relax. Everything sink, sink, sink. Bottom leg comes down. Relax. Good. Right back up to your seat. Slide the ball right at the back. Come on the back of the left leg, the top of the back of the left leg. So release your right leg off to the side. Slide in, slide the ball down the back of the leg a little bit, and relax into your foot. And God, breathe out. So up and go ahead and just bring your body right down the front of that ball. Just come and see the way you feel as you sit without anything underneath you and just see if you can feel a little bit more connected. Rock your body to the right and rock your body to the left. And just see so if you can actually feel your sit bones now. Sometimes they're not really that prominent. Until we do this work, lifting your flesh up, walking your hips back. Bring your feet together in Baddha Konasana. And just for a moment, pressing your leg bones down to the earth. So imagine pressing like your, your hip flexors are so powerful that you press the leg bones down, moving from the top of the legs, you're building. Breath in and breath out. Inhale yourself up to seated. Good. And bring yourself onto your hands and knees. Slide the bring the black balls in. to um, puppy stretch the knees right under your hips on a hot tub and then just slide your hands out just stretching up the a little bit of the back bench here it's so much forward folding and you can inhale you can rise and exhale you can come down inhale and rise and exhale and come down Come on up to hands and knees. Put your knee into your chest and do a little hip mandala. So you're going to bring your knee forward, back to the side, around the back, forward, and around. That's it. Very good. Move to the other side. Bring your knee forward to your chest, and then out to the side and around. Your hands can be spread out, supporting you any way you need to. Two. And one. Very 
Okay. Yeah, let's work at the black balls now in the SOAS. So, and then just keep your pro ball close by. So, come on down on your belly. You're going to put the shoe black balls in right here. So, you're going to be in right inside your, your hip bones are right here. Okay. Here's your pubic bone. You're going to put the ball here and you're going to put the ball here. So, you can start at your hip bones and then right in there, your front pockets. All right. So that's what it looks like. And the way, the best way I feel like to load it in is to roll to one side, find your hip bone. Roll down the diagonal and then come on. And just let's just start with one for a second. I want to get that seated in. So, whatever side you're on, find the hip bone, roll in, and feel. So, this might be pretty intense. Okay. If it's too intense, just roll away from the ball. And if you like it, <laughs> roll towards the ball a bit and really get your body weight in. So, you can control the sensation, roll away to lighten up. And roll towards to deepen. Okay, so we're going to do a little breath work here. We're going to do the Palabati. So I want you to put that off. Okay, put the club music off. Okay, so <laughs> Palabati, remember, is mouth closed. So you're going to be inhaling through your nose and then just blowing out, just exhaling from your nose, mouth closed the whole time, and you're going to be pumping your belly in. So like pump the belly in towards you as you throw your breath out. Okay, so get long through that right side, lean as much as you can take over to the right. Again, away from it to lighten up, towards to deepen. Here from your elbows, relaxing here. Nice little eye kind of pulling sensation here, I'm just getting really stretched out here through the front layers of the abdominals. Okay, so just get settled for a second. Breathe, just take a natural breath in, close your mouth, natural breath in through the nose, inhale, expand your belly to the ball. Just feel that, exhale and relax. Okay, and if you don't want to do Kapala Bhatti, or you don't know how to do it, you don't feel comfortable, just breathe normal, okay? Expanding belly to the ball, all right? So you can do slow breathing. For those of you who guys want to do the Kapalabhati, that mouth is going to be closed. Let's take a breath in. You're still aiming the ball, and then you're going to pump that belly. Okay, let's do 10. Inhale through the nose. And go. And relax. Bring your torso down and stretch out your right arm. Oh, sorry. So whatever I didn't even say. So whatever side you're on, I should have put everybody on the right side. Whatever side your ball's on, bring that side down and expand that arm out. If you're on, if the ball's on your left side, right, then your left arm is out, left leg is out. If your ball's on your right side, you're gonna be expanding your right arm out and your right leg out. Get that roll into the side that your ball's on. Just gonna roll in towards the ball. Let's see into your front pocket a little bit more. Try to relax your, your legs now, relax your torso. Let's do another breath here. Take a breath in, mouth is closed. Inhale through your nose, 10 Kapalabhati. Inhale through your nose, and go. And relax. Bend, your, bend that leg that the ball's on, that side your ball's on. And if you can reach back, take, take a hold of the foot or ankle. And just give yourself a little pull towards the glute as you press down for the back of the hips. Feel the nice long stretch in your quad. If you can't get your foot, don't worry about it. You can just be here. Just bending your knee is, is good. Okay. Pressing down for the back of your hips. It's like you're pressing down. You're, you're trying to really get that ball connected into the front pocket. Take a breath in, full breath in here. Inhale through your nose, expand your belly ball. And relax, exhale. And then release your foot. 
roll away from the ball and take that ball out and then flop down, feel. Okay, let's do the other side. Roll away, put the ball on your other hip bone, feel that ball, feel the bone, slide the ball in the diagonal into your front pocket, a little diagonal right in there, your soft belly between your bones, and then slide your body over onto the ball as much as you can, as much as you can. You can be up on your elbows to start here, your little space pose. Let your body settle in. You're going to take some breaths in through your nose. Inhale, expand your belly to ball. And relax. Exhale and melt. So you're going to breath in. Expand your belly right into the ball. And relax. And one more. Expand belly to ball. And relax. Okay, come down onto your, just drop your torso down, extend, extend that arm and that leg out. If it gets too much, just take the ball out, right? Especially if you're just getting started. If you get intense, we'll just roll away from the ball. If it gets too intense, roll into it to, get, to make more. All right, let's do a round to your Kapalabhati. Inhale, expand belly to ball, inhale through your nose. And go. And relax. Just feel. Make adjustments if you need to. Move around. It's all good. I feel a nice and point for this really interesting kind of stretchy, tuggy, pulley feeling. It's just the, the tighter you are in your fascia layer, the more it's going to feel like that. Go ahead and bend your, that leg. Reach back, take the foot or ankle on that side. Pushing down from the back of the hips. Look down, breathe. Real easy. You have a lot going on here. This is your deep abdominal muscle that we're getting into here. Take a breath in, take the Palavati. Inhale and go. And then relax. Breathe and relax. You can release your foot if you, if you like, or keep holding on. Relax. Three, two, and one. And then roll away, take the ball out. And feel. feel. Just maybe shift your hips around a little bit. Breath in. Expand and breath out. Slide your curl ball in and then place it right above, right at the sternum bone. So find your cleavage and find that chest bone. If you can get it into your cleavage just for a minute, try to. If not, just take it above breast tissue. If you're right at the cleavage, just, just if it's too unbearable, then don't do it. But if you can, go for it here. Just we're just going to take a stretch here. And get as close to the cleavage as you can, right where the ribs come together, without being on the little, the little right, right, without being on where they come together, right? So if you slide your hands, what I'm talking about is if you feel your ribs right here. If you slide your hands down and feel the ribs right, right where your belly starts, okay, inside those, that rib cage, and then follow the ribs up and where they come together. That's your sternum bone. So you just scooch the ball. So Abby, um, Maggie, no, um, no silver in your chest ever. So just grab your um, curl. Yeah. yeah. Or you can use ball, whatever. Ball. I think you better use curl because you're you're small. Yeah. yeah. You don't ever want to use silver in your chest. So 
get the pearl right in that spot, right, right at the top where the ribs come together, just slightly higher. And just hang out for a second here. Breathing, expanding. Let's do Kapala Bhaji. Your arms to the side. We'll let Maggie get loaded up on her fall. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Arms to the side. So the reason you don't use silver basically is it's just a little bit too hard and you don't want to, you know, your chest bones or your ribs and stuff are kind of soft. You don't want to do that. So, yeah. Okay. Does that feel a little better too? Yeah. Yeah, because that's pretty hard. I mean, it probably wouldn't hurt you, but might take a chance. So arms are out to the side. Let's take a breath in, breathe in, and we're gonna do tank and pala bhati here. You're still expanding your belly. Inhale. And go. And the glass. When you inhale, you should feel the fill, you should feel the lungs filling. And then as you're pumping your belly, right, we're toning the belly and we're getting the lungs um, Expanded as well. Let's relax here. Two. One. All right. Bring your arms in, lift up, and now push the ball up above breast tissue. You're still following that chest bone up, and you're right below your collarbone now. And this should feel a little bit more comfortable. Okay, arms to the side, and just let your body weight go right forward into that ball. Everything's just melting. Okay, again, we're expanding our lungs, these upper lungs on the inhale, and then pump your belly on the exhale. Okay, tank of Palavati. Inhale through the nose, mouth closed. Feel that, exhale and go. And relax. Breathe. Normal, relax, feel. Let's take a twist here, push the ball to your right. So just slide it right to the right, right in kind of right inside your, your uh, shoulder, right on the pec muscle. Bring your, your right arm straight out and then just turn to the right side and look to the left. And just gonna open and stretch the chest out, relax your shoulders, let the rotation happen. Gazing to the left, gazing up to the sky, slightly up to the ceiling, breath in. Now we're breathing in these upper lungs, exhale, relax out. Just melt down into the ball in your exhale. Let's do 10 Kapala Bhati here. Inhale through your nose, not close. Feel and then start. And relax, go back to center, roll through that pack. Right back to center, bring the ball to the center of your chest. Airplane stretch, interlace your fingers and shoulder blades together. Inhale, lift up off that ball. You can add legs if you want with the arms. Take a breath in. Exhale and relax. Do it one more time. Squeeze your arm bones together, lift your arms up. On an inhale, everything up, airplane. And on the exhale, relax. Everything comes down. Slide your arms down. Do the other side. Push the ball into the left pec. Right inside your arm bone. In there. Lean in. Feel it first. Left arm's going to extend out. And then once you feel really seated in, just turn your hips as you melt into the ball. And like feel that stretch. This chest is stretching and, and releasing. Okay. Gazing up to, up to the ceiling if you can, relaxing down into the ball, rotating away from your ball. Take a breath in, take a ball about to here. Inhale. Go. And relax. Sink in, roll back to center, and take the ball out and just feel it. Lay down on the floor. Relax. Can you feel the earth? Can you just feel the harness of the floor? And imagine yourself connecting roots down through the floor, the foundation. You're on the second floor, down to the top, through the, all, the, all the building, into the earth, into the core. 
essential Mother Earth below. It's feeling that that stable. Slide your hands in towards your body and push up into your plank to dog. Roll out your shoulders a little bit. I want you to feel the core center as you press away from the core. Push down as much as you feel yourself rise up. And then come to downward facing dog. You such your brain and your mind and everything will settle and drop and relax and release. Rolling through your toes, lift and lower your heels a couple times and really pedal out through all your toes. Just come to the tippy toes. to the center of the mat. And just hang out in forward fold a moment, letting your spine completely unwind in the knees, bend your knees slightly. Relaxing forward. As you breathe, notice how your breath feels moving, how it moves through the torso here. Be mindful of the back and how it opens the back if, you, if you're mindful and you're aware of that potential. How you can open the back shoulders, open the back lungs, feel the scapula and that whole back Structure open and broaden with each inhale. And then you're ready, just coming down into Shavasana. Walking yourself down to see it. You roll down, take another opportunity here. Any stretch you might need, okay? Just any way you want to come on down, just go ahead down. Just feel yourself completely surrender and relax to the earth. Back down. But feel the lightness on the front body. So opening up your, drawing out your legs a little bit, reset your shoulders on the earth and relax your arms down. Maybe you feel like you just want to be more centered and more, just more closed up a little bit and not to keep things out, but rather to hold in something that you, something that you cherish, something that's on your mind and on your heart and you just feel moved by it. So you can bring your hands in on your body. Whatever, whatever is calling to you, just take, the, take that shape and be still. Just let your mind soften in your mouth and your eyes. Your shoulders. Your heart. Your center, your will. The lower chakras, hips, the leg bones relaxing and lengthening out, your feet relaxing your ankles. And just imagine rinsing out and releasing your toxins from, from your feet.
feel a little tingling down there. Let's relax and let things move out. Let yourself be a witness. Rising above, looking down on your earthly body. Become an observer, a compassionate partner. You know that you are enough, just as you are.
the sweet spot at home. One of the benefits of being able to stay in Shavasana as long as you like. Thank you, ladies, for your energy. Remember that you are the gift to the world. You shine your light and cherish and nourish, nourish yourselves every week. Do at least one thing for yourself. Maybe even two. The light in me honors and bows to the light in you. Together we say, Namaste. When you did your last Zoom count for the holiday, mm -hmm. did you just walk away? Because some people were still in Shavasana, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some, well, I, it, it's funny because I think that. Um, I think that, let me shut this off. Um, what was funny is, night everybody. Um,